Hey, I'm Todd Newton, and let me be the first to welcome you to the island of St. Croix, nestled in the heart of the Caribbean. This beautiful island, part of the United States Virgin Islands, really does have it all. An incredible history, rich, rich history, a vibrant culture. We're going to show you all of it, and of course, some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. So what I need you to do is pack your sense of adventure. This is the Tattoo Traveler, and this, this is St. Croix. The United States Virgin Islands consists of three major islands, St. Thomas, St. John, and St. Croix, along with 50 or so other smaller islands. And of the three majors, St. Croix is the biggest, it's the flattest, but it's also the least touristy, which means you'll have more of that white sand all to yourself when you come visit. Now, when I say it's the largest of the three major islands, let me put that in perspective. St. Croix is only 22 miles long and only six miles wide. Here's the legend. If you don't meet Poncho first thing off the plane, then you're not getting the true St. Croix experience, you're right? You sure are not, you sure are not. Now, you Poncho, never lie. Poncho, can you teach us the good morning, good afternoon, good night? Because, right, that's that's how you properly greet folks here. Correct. Right? Yes. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good night, or wagging on. <laughs> I'm going to have to work on that one. <laughs> St. Croix is perfect for people who are looking to relax, unwind island style. With an average temperature of 82 degrees Fahrenheit under sunny skies, St. Croix is the ideal locale to do just that. You can forget about those things that bog you down, that worry you from day to day, and just enjoy these turquoise waters. Maybe you're a scuba diver, or snorkeler, or like me, you just like good water sports, a little playtime. On St. Croix, you can have fun in the water, out of the water, on the water, underneath the water. Here's one of the newest attractions on the island. These are called jet cars. They've only been around for about a year and a half and they combine the thrill of a jet ski and the allure of a Corvette and they can move. 300 horsepower, that translates to about 65 miles per hour on land. Let's top off our first day on the island with a trip to the Spratnet Beach Bar, if you're 18 or over, that is, and a shot of Mama Wana. This is a yummy concoction of rum, red wine, and honey with tree bark and herbs. Or you could go for something more traditional. Since we've been on the island, everyone, everyone, including my buddy Poncho, has said you gotta try a painkiller. That's the drink, right? Painkiller? Painkiller. That's the one. So a painkiller we have here, and I thought it would only be appropriate if we let the great Marky have the first sip. Uh-oh. It looks very pina colada-ish. <laughs> this is really good. It's, um... <laughs> <laughs> it's working. She is feeling no pain. Really it's dark rum, pineapple juice, oh. orange juice, and cream of coconut. And she's right, it is really good. <laughs> I'm gonna show you around Christiansted here momentarily, but first, we're gonna have one more drink up in the rainforest where temperatures can be about 20 degrees cooler at times than they are down at the beach. Here in the rainforest, you will find a one-of-a-kind jungle bar called the Mount Pillier Hut Domino Club. And if you've ever read up on St. Croix, you know that the island is famous for many things, one of them being the beer drinking pigs. That's right, and this is where you will find them. It all started over 20 years ago when the former owners, George and Norma, they've both since passed on, uh, they were farmers here. This was their place, and they had a lot of pigs on the property. They decided to downsize a little bit, so they sold most of the pigs. But the two that they kept had a fondness for beer. Pigs, <clears throat> we have Kevin Bacon, we have Chester, and then we have Willis, and then we have Hamilton, and we call her Hammy. Um, they all, they're all rather large pigs, boar-like pigs. They could be boars. And they'll, they're going to jump up on their stall doors, and they're big, and they're intimidating. Big, intimidating, and adorable. Look at that welcome. 
Keep in mind, they are drinking non-alcoholic beer and they do not swallow the aluminum cans. These pigs are well, well cared for. Just look at that grin. Admission to see the pigs is $2 and each can of the non-alcoholic beer that you want to give them is four bucks. And the Mount Pellier Hut Domino Club is open every day of the week except Monday. All right, St. Croix has two major cities Frederickstead, which is on the far western side of the island, and more towards the east is Christianstead. This is the largest town on the island, a major port, plenty of shopping, docks for many of the charter boats and water activities, restaurants, bars. I mentioned earlier in the show that St. Croix is far less crowded than St. Thomas, St. John. It is expected that St. Croix will receive 140,000 visitors in 2024. That's it. It can be a little tricky to get around, however. Taxis are not metered, so you're at the driver's mercy most times, and they're not regulated all that closely, it seemed. But a lot of celebrities are purchasing property here on the island. Dan Aykroyd is the latest. And this gentleman, you may recognize Brian from Mythbusters, who loves the island of St. Croix, so much so that you have a t-shirt. Featuring the St. Croix cop. You're a gentleman who probably could have lived anywhere in the world. What is it about the island of St. Croix that made you want to say, this is going to be home for so, me? It's pretty simple for me, I sum it up and say, beautiful island, but beautiful people. The culture. I grew up in Indonesia and Pakistan. It's about a community that really cares about each other. What an incredible place to have a childhood, right? Listen, I would never give it up. I would never change it. Believe me. I would never want to go back. This is it. My foundation, respect. Hear what you're saying? Respect in the way people are. That's what I love about it. Yeah, that respect for everyone, locals, neighbors, and tourists was evident to me right away. Here's how the governor of the U.S. Virgin Islands described it to me. You know, we had a, we had a lot of planning in our tourism and we're doing a lot more about appreciation of our culture. We are very proud people. So we love it when people come here. We love to brag about our beaches and our friendly people, our cuisine. We take it as a point of personal pride. You know, this weekend is the Ag Fair in St. Croix an incredible collection of food, agriculture, whether cooked or raw, it's gonna be great. But events like that, people come out just to show you what they can do. Bragging rights is what it's all about. So we feel the same way with our hospitality. When you come to our island, we wanna make sure you go back to St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. John is my home. I'm just taking a break from it to that other place and I'll get back. That pride in the island heritage is so strong, in fact, that there's a new song that you hear everywhere around here called Good Morning, Good Afternoon, Good Night. Those simple words are the ultimate show of respect for your fellow man. I sat down with the song's producer, Jeff Torea, and the artist, Molta. It was in a simpler time when everybody was kind to each other. That's why my mom and stuff taught us to say good morning, good afternoon, good night have so much respect for everybody you meet, you know? And it was just the way of the Virgin Islands, the way of the people, that's how we, we meet and greet everybody. And if you didn't, there was oh hell to pay God, when you got- it was hell to pay, man. <laughs> Baba back then, she got the whip and stick, man. It was <laughs> I want to thank you so much for spending time with me here in paradise, the beautiful island of St. Croix. And the best part is, my friend, this is only one of two episodes that we did for you from the U.S. Virgin Islands. So be sure you watch the other. There's so much in store for you. And I couldn't think of a better way to wrap this episode up than by taking you on a sunset cruise. So enjoy. I'm Todd Newton, the Tattoo Traveler. And until we meet again, travel safe. Yo, help me keep the Virgin Islands strong. All of these ones. Good afternoon, good night. Good morning, 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 good afternoon, good night. You better say it right. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. 